Greetings. Hey, it's Susie Q here. Today is day, I don't know which one it is, day something of Today I Thrive, and um, I don't remember the exact date. So there you have it. <laughs> so I've created Today I Thrive podcast, and um, my goal is to do 111. So in preserving my um, promise to do podcast. If you're watching it through video, don't look at my face. Just listen. <laughs> Woo! There's a lot of stuff going on out there, don't you think? <laughs> Raise your hand right now if you think there's a lot of stuff going on that is mysterious, um, challenging, um, and creepy. <laughs> But on the flip side of the sunny side of the moon, like what is amazing happening in your life? What new awarenesses are you understanding about yourself? And also, what good things are you doing to really give um, kindness and loving support to your own self? <laughs> oh, wow. So what I have been personally doing is um, I have been social distancing. <laughs> like so many, and I'm not doing it for any kind of a stance or anything. It's This time has been very introspective for me and maybe for you too, and I also work from home, so it's it's easier for me um, to be here and still be doing my um, effective action on the different things I'm working with, so that feels really light and cool. Um, and so I know that a lot of people are feeling different things, and, and, and the things could be shifting throughout the day, so maybe... Like for me, I wake up supercharged in the morning. I, I love my morning. I've got tons of um, routines that I do. And then I notice in the afternoon, I maybe get some sort of a strange kind of like slump or, I don't know, just not feeling 100%, you know. And so I'm guessing that a lot of people, just like me, are having these same kind of fluctuations with where are you at with your baseline on your frequency. So just wanted to share a few things on that, like some things that might help you as you're moving about the frequencies and the changes and shifts in our own um, homes and in our environment and with our work and, um, and with the people that we love. There's just so many things that are different now. So, so um, the, quick, the, the fastest thing and the quickest thing I can recommend is to really tune into your breath. And it may just be as simple as naming your breath, just saying breathing in. And then breathing out. <sighs> Again, breathing in. And then breathing out. <sighs> One more. Breathing in. And then breathing out. <sighs> and then some people do tapping. And I'm not an experienced tapper. I do do different things for holistic purposes. And so this might be something that you might want to do is just, um, just give yourself an affirmation that... Um, all is well in this moment of now. <laughs> I am welcome to different things that come into my life that are loving and supportive to me. I'm awakened to the beautiful spirit that I am and know that I am that. <laughs> I am awake and aware and I'm so thankful for this. Whew. I'm feeling in my heart this beautiful love that surrounds me all the time in any circumstances that I'm experiencing. And this next one would be like on the sides of my body is that I'm presently whole and complete. I'm just as I am in my most perfect and perfected way. And I'm so incredibly thankful. <laughs> so these are just some simple little things. The breathing practice, um, the tapping, and with a, and adding a beautiful um, affirmation to that. And also another thing that I'm noticing too, so we got the breathing, we've got some tapping, and number three, we'll just do three. The third one is really um, noticing synchronicities that are showing up in your life. And the synchronicities are um, things like, um, I was just thinking about calling my daughter or my son, and then they call or send me a text. Um, could be you're driving in the car and you've been thinking about some music that you love and then it shows up on the radio. 
um, it could be something that um, wasn't expected, but you've been really asking for something different in your life and all of a sudden it shows up. It could be an opportunity, it could be an invitation, it could be an offer of something. But these synchronicities are beautiful messages for us to know that whatever we're putting out into the world is that we are invoking and attracting the most beautiful and most benevolent outcome on what it is that we are seeking in our life. And we know that lives have been changed in strange and unusual and some beautiful ways right now. And that's probably like how it always is, is we've got these ebbs and flows of feeling tones or bhavana, and we have moments where there's time for going inward and reflecting. And there's times for us, too, to just be in, in a beautiful state of gratitude. So with whatever you're experiencing and whatever you're tuning into as far as attracting into your field, or even waking up to something new that's alive for you. So a lot of people who are um, pretty tuned in with frequencies, which is me, <laughs> is I receive energy and perceive energy, although um, not many people understand that when I talk about it, um, but I know a lot of you do, you know, is that this energy that we're working with is extremely profound. And so, you know, to really wake up more, to really um, come into a new truth of being, to notice the synchronicities in your life as a blessing, as it being, wow, what a fun gift. I didn't really ask for this exactly, you know, but the synchronicities, there's gratitude there. You know, going back into the breathing, you know, wow, what gratitude, you know, to really be able to draw the in-breath in and then release it with a beautiful cleansing breath out. <sighs> nice. And then different healing techniques that you might use. You know, I, we did a little bit of tapping here, 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 um, down in here and on the sides. There's all kinds of things that we can do to um, just wake up the body and bring a new spirit into your moment. The synchronicities are huge. And the gratitude piece can be anywhere. Even if there's something that showed up that was kind of like, womp, 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 thank you for this information, this um, beautiful expression of another way of being. It could even be somebody that says something to you and it doesn't resonate for you. A lot of this, a lot of people are, have like different um, viewpoints um, all the time. And right now it's like really like, whoa, lots of different ideas. And so somebody says something that doesn't resonate with you you could say, oh, thank you. That's a really different perspective. So thank you. And then you just let it go. So being in that space to be a receiver of the most simple, simplest messages, the breath, the tapping, the acts of gratitude, you know, really tuning into your synchronistic um, ways of experiencing life. And, and a lot of the synchronicities I receive are through the body. So I'm very thankful for that. So anyway, I'm just going on and on and on. But I see you in your most beautiful and brilliant light in everything that you're doing in your life, in that you are creating more beauty in your life. You're creating more um, love and unconditional love, compassion and kindness in all areas of your life and in all different groups that you're in, family, friends, work friends, you know, that you're creating a beautiful space. <laughs> today I thrive. It's day something of 111. Today I thrive. <laughs> anyway, keep smiling. And, and, and if you're feeling like, oh, there's nothing to smile at. Well, I'm like looking at my computer screen right now with this groovy new uh, deal behind me. And I'm finding ways to smile simply by knowing that you know, by sharing with another person, of course, I love to share in person, is another way to just light, light yourself up and light the world with your smile. <laughs> anyway, have a most beautiful day and may you be blessed and namaste. <laughs>